people politically. I have disagreed with people spiritually, but never have I ever disrespected somebody like that. That is the kind of that's the kind of language that we're receiving in this in this office from people who call us vile, hateful people. The language that I use to describe the filth that you saw in those pictures is appropriate by North Carolina standards. By the law, it's appropriate. So guys, the message I'm going to leave you with is this. We are not resigning, and not only are we not resigning, we are not going to stop until the schools in North Carolina are safe from this kind of filth. We're going to keep fighting to make sure that North Carolina schools are safe and free from this. Thank y'all very much, and we'll take a few questions. Uh, a video today surfaced of you speaking at the Upper Room Church in Raleigh in August. Um, you said, if there's a movement in this country that is demonic and is full of the spirit of the Antichrist, it is the transgender movement. How is that not negative about transgender? Look, my spiritual beliefs about transgenderism and homosexuality is completely separate from this office. And I can keep it separate from this office. And that is not the issue that we're talking about here. We are talking about this type of filth being spread in our classrooms and being spread to our children. Again, I'm going to state this to you again. My personal beliefs of, and spiritual beliefs about homosexuality are not pertinent. I will fight for folks' rights to be secure in their persons every day that I'm in this office, but we will not allow it to be spread to classrooms and to children. I, I'm not going to respond to that at all because that's always been the argument that whoever stands up to this type of stuff, we're spreading hate and violence. I would submit to you that I'm the one that's under attack right now with threats of violence. Lieutenant Governor, if you're going to call this filth, obviously this is homosexuality or what have you. Yes. Heterosexuality, I don't know where you're going that. So I guess my question would be this. Are yes. you going to call for the removal of sex education in all schools in North Carolina? No. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The, not biological. When we're talking about biology, I'm all for it. But when we're talking about things of this nature, whether it be heterosexual, homosexual, it doesn't matter. This type of stuff doesn't need to be displayed in our, in our so schools. So if this was a man and a woman or, or what happened? It, it would not matter if it was male, female, male, male, female, female, female. Any type of highly sexual material of this nature does not need to be spread to children. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I came across a video of Mark Robertson. He's one of the governors of one of the cities. That he's a governor of New York, North Carolina. And I agree with him. It's filth. Homosexuality is filth. It's not of the most high. A lot of people are conforming to the world. And it will lead you to your demise. You people have to really open your eyes and take and take a accountability, sense of accountability. Some of you guys got kids, grandkids. A lot of things are influencing and attacking the, and, and attacking the mind of kids because they're so vulnerable and gullible. What happened to awareness? You guys have to stay focused. Homosexuality is wrong. Transgender, 33 transgenders is wrong. When we started with two. And we're going to end with two because two make the perfect balance. Now, sex education should be in, in schools, but it should not be anything dealing with homosexuality. Teaching kids, teaching, excuse me, teaching high school kids about sexuality is it, it, it's important. To me, it's important in my opinion. And, and of course, my opinion doesn't matter, but I know that I speak nothing but the truth. Homosexuality is wrong. And if you call yourself a so-called Christian, the Bible states that it's wrong. Stay focused, guys. I'm out.